All right, I'm back to you all with one thing to do and one thing only. And that's to ride Hagrid's for the first time. I am beyond excited. I am riding solo today. There is no Jen. Obviously, she's pregnant and can't ride the attraction. Um, and Frank, she's really tired. It is 8 o'clock here. I woke up bright and early for this. Islands of Adventure doesn't open until 9. Haven't done a rope drop at a theme park in forever. So we're going to do rope drop at Islands and try to get on Hagrid's as soon as we can. Looks like I'm not the only person that had this idea in mind. So there are a bunch of people walking towards Islands of Adventure. All right, got my comp ticket to go in. Now let's go find the line. So there's a good amount of people here already. There's two lines back there. This is probably the biggest line. And then there's this line. We're gonna hop in line and just wait it out. They've already made the announcement that they won't open until closer to nine. So it's 8.17 right now. We'll see how soon we can get through this crowd. All right, it's 8.34. They just started kind of playing around with the gates. They like opened them and then closed them. I don't know, they're playing with my emotions. Also, I'm really sweaty. That's all for now. They opened up a new line. So now I'm on the far left, a little closer, kind of bypassed a lot of people that were back here. And the line now stretches back out towards Margaritaville. It is 8.38. 8.48, they have opened the gates. Let's go. People don't play over here. People are gunning it. Pretty sure to Seuss Landing. Gotta get on those Seuss rides before they fill up. Totally get it. We're in. Part of me wants to run, and the other part of me is like, I'm tired as hell. And I've worked at theme parks for years and seen it all. I've seen people fall. I've seen people bump into other people just because they're trying to run and get to attraction. And it's not that serious. Like you're gonna save yourself maybe 15 minutes. Like, I don't know. My man's wearing like a full dress shirt and jeans today. So judging by the route everyone's taking, no one cares about that area of the park. Everyone's going this way. Which means Seuss Landing's about to be packed. Or they're gonna go to Hagrid's. It's almost like we filled an unofficial queue line already. We're all like single file, we're all cattle. Oh, see that, see that jog form he had? That was good. Look at that. Two hands on the backpack, cannot be beat. We're all being kept back here. Not exactly sure where or what this area is. And they just told us that it's gonna be a delayed opening. Great. Who knows how long. They won't give an estimate. Should have just told us that at the gates, but. Yes, why not? It looks like the line is now starting to move. So as far as delayed, it was uh, five minutes delayed. So all the drama for who knows what. Update, we are being told this is a preload, not necessarily meaning the ride is operational. So it's a grot day, grot day. Literally all I came for. Probably gonna have to be here. Who knows how long. So. The preload begins. This is the queue. We are completely outside of the Wizard World. We haven't even entered yet. Stretches all the way back there. And then you head down this tunnel all the way into Hogsmeade. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but you could hear Potter music because it's right on the other side of this fence. So that's kind of interesting. But we're not in Hogsmeade yet, so, you know, theming, All right? Finally get to see Hogsmeade. Walking 
in Hogsmeade Station. So the line is moving pretty steady right now. Their train looks a lot more like colorful. I could just be wrong, I don't know. I'm, part of me wants to just go and bum rush it to Hippogriff and show them some love. Be like, I chose you over Hagrid. But that relationship would end very quickly because that ride's only like 20 seconds. I'm in! Yes! Alright, hopefully the ride is operational, whatever that means. Soon. They're already on the track. Yeah. So we'll see. So far I've cried 14 times. Off camera, obviously. And I have a feeling this is why it is not operational. They're filming a little something. Look at that form. Look at that form. He's living. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Look at this view you get of Hogwarts Castle. Ridiculous. Alright. I don't know how long the queue is, but we be moving. Good morning. Oh yeah. There's looks like there's people on there already, so hopefully luck's on our side. This beautiful. Uh, cry countdown is up to 27 off camera off camera of course All right, I did not bring the good low light camera So whatever happens in here might not be able to see it that well You only bring anything that fits in your pocket so I brought the small vlog camera it's a bit of a pre-show here, you can't really see it, but Hagrid's bike's there, Fang's back there, chilling like a villain. But it looks like we're bypassing this pre-show altogether. We got big huevos over here, for huevos rancheros later. Hagrid knows what's up. Look at these. Solid. This is so cool. It's like his workstation. Just got done crying with Moni Myrtle in the restroom. Happy tears. Tears of excitement. Uh, tears of disbelief. Hagrid's is probably the best ride I have ever been on. And I know a lot of people probably say that after they ride it. And I'm sure there's a lot of other videos um, that probably say the same thing. Hands down. Um, I don't like roller coasters. Those of you that know me know that I struggle on roller coasters. I'm, I'm a little scaredy cat. And that wasn't any different. I was super scared there too. Um, it goes extremely fast. But the animatronics, the storytelling, the switching from high speed coaster to slow speed and the quick turns and it's just so good. It is absolutely so and it's totally worth the wait. I got here, you know, a little after 8, park opened at technically 9, they let us in at 8.45, and I got done at 9.43, so I think it's worth it, I mean now it's like at a 200 minute wait, you gotta ride it man, and I'm sad Jen didn't get to experience it, she loves roller coasters, and I'm sad she didn't get to ride it, but as soon as she can, we're gonna ride it together, highly, highly, highly recommend it. 
Um, it's so good I need a beer right now and it's it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning back home but I don't know I don't know what else to say I'm, I'm speechless speechless before I go meet back up with uh, Jen I kind of just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of like what are the differences between Hogsmeade here versus Hogsmeade in Hollywood the stage looks different set up differently Okay, there's a clear drop off here as opposed to like walking steps. Uh, Hippogriff looks different as well with these nets on the sides. For the most part the attraction is, is similar but it does look different. Um, and then you got this entryway which back home this would be the entrance to Ollivanders down here. Uh, but their Ollivanders is actually down this way. I'll show you guys in a sec. This walk path takes you to their Jurassic Park area which I'm going to go see. Um, where for us, this would be like the shortcut down back to the studio tour. And this little area doesn't exist back home. This is the back entrance to Hagrid, or the exit to Hagrid. The wand cart's here versus like back home, it's up that way. This looks pretty much identical. We don't have this facade. The magic neep isn't placed here. It's placed on what would be this side of the street. Ollivander's on this side and back home that's Gladrax. These facades are just placed differently. Then you have Gladrax on this side, which is just a facade. You got the owl post over here, so that is pretty much identical. So what is Ollivander's would be Gladrax, but it's not and Ollivanders would have been back there. This is the exact same facade, restrooms located, same tunnel way, exactly the same. This little owl, the owlery is exactly the same and then Dervish and Bang's entrance, the same. Hogshead looks like it's pretty much identical. It looks like they're not open yet. And then the three broomsticks, it's right here as well with the butterbeer cart. That would be the Hogsmeade Station store, but here it is not. And then Honeydukes is pretty much the same. They do have all these other little props, but I think this is for their new nighttime thing they're doing with the Death Eaters. I don't think these are permanent props, um, but all of this looks the same. And then as far as this side of the world, there's the train, that's where we walked into. Yeah, so definitely some key differences, but also a lot of like similarities. All right, some other differences. You got Honeydukes. That's the far side of Honeydukes. I just walked in through there. That would be Zonko's back home, but that is actually where the cash trap for Honeydukes is. They have all their displays. So this store layout is pretty much 100% different. There's no, although you're walking through Zonko's, there's no actual Zonko's merch like there is back home. He's living. Oh, he did say welcome to Honeydukes though. Look at the theming. Look at the world. The staircase is the same. It's also by the exit entrance to three broomsticks, so that's identical. All right, now I'm gonna walk into Dervish and Bangs. Looks like they're like owl cart. More or less same merch, just kind of positioned differently. Our register I think is on this side. Let's walk in through here. All right. So same type of display on this side. Monster Book of Monsters. So that's the same. This room looks almost identical. I'm sure merch is placed differently. They sell robes here. We don't. We sell them in Wiseacres. But the displays all around look pretty much the same. I think that wall is different for us back home. I don't think they sell that merch here. Or in Dervish back in Hollywood. I think that belongs to Filch's. Let's see. Hi, hi. Go into extended dervish. Curveball. Extended dervish sells wands. So 
this is 100% different than back home. Where Extended Dervish sells merch, here they sell wands. And it looks like you can get um, character wands here, both interactive and non-interactive. And where this walk path would connect to the glad rags, it's closed off because I'm assuming I'll know when I walk out, it's connected to Ollivanders and that's the exit to Ollivanders. So let's go check out the outpost. Outpost, curveball as well, sells wands. And lots of them. This display looks different. It's Professor Dumbledore. It's been a really long time since I've explored Hogsmeade here in Orlando. Spend more time in Diagon Alley. So this is actually blowing my mind on how different these shops are on the inside. So far no store is identical. None. There is a line to get into Ollivanders and I want to say if you want to shop that might not be an option. I think you got to go through the show in order to get into the actual shop itself. Confirmed, if you want to shop in Ollivanders, basically you're shopping in the Outpost or in Dervish and Bangs. There's no such thing as like just shopping inside Ollivanders. That line you saw, I asked the team member, um, and the team member said that line is just for the experience. Um, and if you want to purchase ones, then you'd have to go and walk into the Outpost and Dervish and Bangs, which is pretty weird. I don't know if I like it. I do like that our version of all of Anders allows you to just walk into the shop freely. So I think that's one area we're a little better in. And as you can see, this whole area is completely different. We don't have this railing at all. So there's just the, the front side of the Hippogriff looks completely different. Ours has a lot of rock work. Theirs has a lot of shrubbery. And then the merge cart, more or less positioned the same way. What you can see is the attraction take off pretty cool. Um, you have a really good view of Hippogriff. So that's the, the loading platform up there. And they're either going to finish here or start here. I want to say they're going to finish here. So we should be seeing a train finish here soon. Here it comes. So that's cool. If you have like family on the ride and you decided not to go like Jen for example absolutely hates this ride she can wait here while like me and Violet and Jasmine ride the ride and you can take pictures and wait here so it's pretty nice last stopping point here in Hogsmeade is gonna be filters just to see how much different it is all right right off the bat full layouts completely different there's a lot more of these like displays and then you got the entrance to the lockers which is more or less the same but like these displays aren't back home I don't think exit off of Forbidden Journey and where like we have Hogsmeade Station and we sell all that merch there they don't so they sell that in here and then you got the cash drop which looks different this cash drop with the like filters and displays is on this side of the building back home but here it's not because they have a photo pass so they still take photos of you while you're on forbidden journey and we do not have that option we never had that option we opened without it and it looks like they have secondary um, cash drops back here so that's like their main cash trap and it's not not a lot we have a lot more registers something they do have though is this really nice display for a lot of their collectibles so that's something we don't have it's really nice so for the most part every single store is different um, and that's like to be expected, right? They, they're probably not gonna look identical, which is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um, but I do think practically, like some of them operationally just work better than others. I, I think our Ollivanders looks a lot better. It looks like you can fit a lot more people in there. I think our Filches can accommodate more people in terms of uh, 
checking checking guests out. Um, but their Honeydukes looks massive compared to ours. And the registers look a lot better, a lot more spaced out. So, you know, you get a little bit different experiences on, on either coast, but nonetheless, like the land is immersive and beautiful and just a great addition to, to the Universal Parks. So I'm just going to now just circle through Jurassic Park, um, but I want to go back and meet up with Jenna so we can enjoy some time together. I've already been away, it's 10.10. So I don't want to keep her waiting too long. Something I wish we had that they have here is this bridge that allows you to, if you have a good wide angle or even with your phone, wide angle lens, you can get a beautiful uninterrupted picture of Hogwarts Castle. Where like back home, a lot of the side profile pictures that you would take would have like lights kind of, you know, scattered in between the shrubbery. Go ahead, you're fine. Um, we're here, it's 100% uninterrupted. There's absolutely no lights, it's all greenery. It looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, that is going to do it from Islands of Adventure. Um, I'm walking back to the bus stop to take it back to Cabana Bay to meet Jen for some uh, lunch and maybe just relaxing by the pool. Uh, this is the beginning of our second day. And so we're going to do probably a video later for HHN, but you guys, you guys will see that at a different day. At the time you're watching this, we're going to be filming two separate videos, basically. And so, as a wrap-up, Hagrid's is an absolute must-do if you guys are coming to Islands of Adventure. Um, I know I didn't really shoot footage of the ride or the queue as much, but regardless, find a POV of the ride. If you want to be surprised, be surprised. It's fantastic. You cannot miss that attraction. And... You know, doing the early park entry, I think was totally worth it. You know, it. by the time I got off the ride, I got here at like 8.15, and by the time I got off the ride, it was 9.45ish. And the park officially opened at 8.45. So, that still gives you your whole day to go and ride something. When I left, the attraction was at a 200 minute wait. So. Highly, highly recommend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed also the little like differences between our Hogsmeade and when I say our, I mean Hollywood's and Florida's Hogsmeade. Um, but we'll catch you guys a little later today when we go to HHN. Super excited for that, but I'm more excited to go find my babes. See you soon, love. We're out. I found you. Hello. I missed you. Missed you. Talking to Ta. Yes, Ta. You have breakfast? Mm-hmm. Okay. Official end of the video. All right, HHN's tonight. Excited. I found my bib. <laughs> we'll catch you guys hot. in the next I am so sweaty. You're so attractive. <laughs> this is good content. <laughs> Goodbye now.